This is a part of Oregon you seldom see in the travel brochures. Out here, people remember bone gray better than rainbows. Southeastern Oregon has a desert so vast. Pitt, get out of the road. Gary Deffenbaugh must drive 260 miles round trip to watch his son play high school basketball. Some weeks he does that three times. The school Ross Deffenbaugh attends draws just 50 students from a district the size of Massachusetts. Their homes are so remote and so scattered, folks decided long ago not to bus their children, just build a dormitory. What'd you get for a four, Wade? Crane High is the only locally tax-supported public boarding school in America. It opened in 1919. Some things are a bit different these days, but there's still a gun behind the principal's desk, and there are still no locks on the lockers. You're too late, 9.30's it. Girls live upstairs, boys down. The rules are simple. Well, you can have one arm around them, they can have one arm around you. Kids, they get wilder and wilder. Yeah. What's a romantic evening around here? Lasagna dinner. What foolishness there is has been tried before. We put a milk cow upstairs one time in the girls' dorm. <laughs> Louis Ash, class of 49, is now in charge of the boys' dorm. Good morning, guys. What does old number 66 do when kids get out of line? Well, he used to make them dig holes six feet deep and six feet wide, then fill them up again. That stopped when one resourceful offender dug his with a quarter stick of dynamite. Let's get you a clean bucket. Nowadays, punishment is more constructive. Parents can pull their kids from class a few days each session to help at home. But there is a high value placed on education. Hello, down. One rancher set up a perpetual scholarship before he died to pay the college tuition of every youngster in the district. It's a benefit. It gets a lot of kids into the first year of college that would never, ever go. Many stay and graduate, and most come back to live on the High Plains Desert. Bob Dotson, NBC News, in southeastern Oregon.